I've got some BMW news for you guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Denver. I'm a client advisor at Parkview BMW in Toronto, Canada. And today I'm going to take you guys through the retail ordering guides for the 2022 brand new BMW i4. BMW just released the ordering guides for this brand new vehicle and we have two variants for it. So let me break it down for BMW's first full electric sedan or Grand Coupe version. And we're going to get into the ordering guides, the prices, all the details, everything that I see for this brand new car. Pretty exciting for BMW, bringing out the full electric cars. It's going to be an awesome vehicle. I can't wait to see it in my showroom floor. Before we hop into the ordering guides, just a quick plug from BMW's online merchandise store. Parkview BMW recently released their online shop section. You can now get all the genuine BMW products you'd normally find in the dealership. You can get it online through our website. Get some from the M Motorsports collection. I have a couple of these in my wardrobe. You can get some super detailed model scale cars. This one's a 2002 homage based on the M2. You know, he's got genuine watches, sunglasses, Mount Blanc wallets. Also, any key tag for any BMW model. If you need to buy a gift and you have something that loves BMW, make sure you head on to our website. Use Denver BMW for 15% off all orders. We ship out worldwide. So make sure you go check it out and get yourself some genuine BMW at Parkview. We have any genuine BMW parts that you might want. Okay, let's talk about the ordering guys for the 2022 i4 and I'll also break down how you spec one out if you're looking to do that from a factory order. This is the first page of the ordering guide. First thing to note is we have two variations. We have the eDrive 40, which is gonna be the rear wheel drive option. And then we have the M50, which is gonna be the 536 horsepower all wheel drive version. Interesting thing here is engine codes. Normally on the other ones, you'd see B58, uh, N63 or S63, S58, all of those for the normal engines. This one we're getting HA00 and XE2, which is very interesting. And the other thing to note is SOP, start of production. These things go into production for November. So we probably won't see these until Q1 of actual 2022. Okay, so the first thing you need to know when you're specking out a new car and looking for a factory order is what's the price? So the eDrive 40 has an MSRP starting at 54,990. I mean, that's actually not too far off from where the gas version is gonna be for the Grand Coupe. So now you have full electric car that's almost the same price as the ver gasoline version of this car and i'm talking about the base one like not even the six cylinder gas like fifty four thousand like we're going to be maybe a thousand maybe two thousand dollars above what the grand coupe version comes out at and then you have your m50 seventy two thousand quite a big price increase between the 40i to the m50i uh, but hopefully that extra power is worth it all-wheel drive as well so this is a little bit cheaper because it's rear wheel drive so that helps keep the price down compared to the all-wheel drive system but first thing you got to go into is your paint options what are you going to paint it so you have one no charge uh, free basically alpine white always a no charge option across all of our bmws then you jump into our metallics metallics are always 895 with a couple uh, options for 1450 and one option of a super rare portamau or frozen portamau blue for 4900 now, all of your metallics that are only going to be $8.95, you have your standard black sapphire metallic, mineral white metallic, sunset orange metallic, portamile blue metallic. None of these colors have been reinvented. This car is not this new electric car that needs to be so different. Like this car, you'll be hard to know that it's an i4 compared to a normal Grand Coupe. All the same colors. So, drive by gray, upgrade, tanzanite blue, upgrade, same as you get on all the other vehicles. San Marino gray metallic. Brooklyn Gray Metallic. Brooklyn Gray would be new, I guess, because it launched for the M cars. Uh, San Marino Gray was on the coupe for the 4 Series. Skyscraper Gray is a new paint across all the 2022 models. And Aventur in Red. That's a cool color for this car. It was previously, I really only saw it on like M8s and 8 Series. So that's a really cool car color, and I would definitely probably pick that one if I was going to be ordering one of these. And the f last color is the Frozen Portamount Blue. This is going to be the color that you see in all of like the launch and everything for the M50i. Everything that was put out for launch and commercials and everything was in the Frozen Portamount Blue. Now we move into upholsteries and it's almost the same spec out that you would get for a normal car. A normal 3 series or 4 series. We're getting Santa Tech as the new standard for 2022. You have a couple more options than on other vehicles. So Beige and red are added on, like the two series only has cognac and black, so this one gets a couple extras. And then Vernasca leather seems to be all of the same options. Decor red, and they're all $1,500, just like you get on a normal 4 series. Black leather, mocha, black leather with blue contrast stretching, oyster, and cognac. So these are all the exact same interiors you'd find on a 3 series or a normal 4 series. Electric car isn't making it any special. 
Now moving down, you'll see the first packages for the M50. These seem to be pretty normal between what you'd expect to see in a normal essential package. Heated steering wheel, comfort door racks, galvanic controls, ambient lighting. When you step up to the premium enhanced package, 5,750, you get everything from the essential package plus the parking assistant with 360 camera, Harman Kardon, BMW drive recorder, which records 20 seconds before and after and all the 360 cameras, the live call professional, which is the full digital gauge cluster, and then the premium essential package, like I said before. All this seems pretty normal between you know gas version cars and electric version cars. I think what BMW is trying to do is they're trying to keep them price point and structure of the packages pretty similar to what you get in a gasoline vehicle. Moving on to the next page, you have a package that's exclusive to the M50i, the M Enhanced Track Package. So it is a BMW, and maybe you plan on taking the electric car to the track. So you're going to get the M Technology Package part of that. That's going to be the larger front brake disc and an extra engine oil cooler added. Then you're going to get upgraded rims and the M Rear Spoiler for $1450, which seems to be a pretty good one. And then if you want the Ultra individual wheels you pay an extra thousand for them now moving down we have premium essential for the 40i or the e-drive 40 7,900. it's a pretty steep price i'll say for an essential package probably one of the most expensive essential packages we see between on the x3e it was like a fourteen thousand dollar package for 2022 but in this essential package you're getting quite a lot of things so it seems like the i4 is a little less standard than you'd say on your gas models so Tire pressure monitoring system, that would be something you'd find standard on another 4 Series. Alarm system, standard. Comfort door access, heated steering wheel, that would be normal things in premium essential package. Auto dimming mirrors, that should be standard, but it's going to pay no extra for these. Storage compartment package, usually standard. Front heated seats, that is definitely odd to see a BMW without heated seats because those are always a standard feature on all gas models. The iconic electric sound, so that's just something for the vehicle itself being electric. That one I find definitely unique. So it's like the first pure electric option that you get in the essential package. And like, what's the i4 going to sound like if you don't get this iconic sound? So it's definitely interesting that they made the way the vehicle sounds be part of the premium essential package. Next thing, park distance control, front and rear. Those are standard on literally every other BMW you can get, but they stripped it down. So like you just have to get that essential package when you're ordering it. Automatic climate control, that's stripped down. Active protection, driving assistant, hi-fi sound system, high gloss black window surround, or satin aluminum window surround. All of those are built in usually on a base gas version BMW. So it makes me question like, what's the window surround gonna be if it's not black or aluminum on a very base one? So that's interesting. And then also, all these are the ones that are standard. It kind of makes me wonder like, the E-Drive 40 had such an attractive base MSRP because they strip down all these other things that they make standard on a gasoline engine. So it's kind of like a catch 22. Like once you go for the essential package, it's like, okay, the money's right back up there. But if you take one without it, like who wants to be in a car that doesn't have front and rear proximity sensors? Like that's just odd. So you're gonna go and come for door access. So you're gonna go and spend that extra money and buy this essential package. So the next package is gonna be the enhanced package, which is $11,500, almost $4,000 more for this package. You'll get everything included in that essential package, plus the galvanic controls, ambient lighting, parking parking camera with surround view system, Harman Kardon sound system, driver quarter, live car professional, almost the exact same as the M50i enhanced package, but that's everything that really should be in the enhanced package. And then you have your advanced driver's assistance package, which is just going to include your traffic jam assistant and your driving assistant professional. And as you can see, 5AU driving assistant professional also includes active stop and go cruise control, standing autonomous steering and lane control, emergency stop assist, active lane keep assist, front cross traffic warning, evasion aid, and crossroads warning. So it's a pre it's like BMW's take on like the self driving, except it only activates under 60 kilometers an hour because it's not fully autonomous. Okay, moving on to the next package. This one will be exclusive for the 40, just because the M50 comes standard with everything in this M Sport package. So in the M Sport package, uh, you'll get without exterior line destination, so it's going to remove a small little logo. Uh, M wheels, so you get the upgraded 19-inch wheels, the leather steering wheel on the inside, the M, M Aerodynamics package, which basically means the front bumper and the rear bumper, and high gloss black window surround. Now moving M Sport Pro is where you want to get the upgraded brakes, the adaptive suspension, the sport steering, and the rear spoiler. And in order to get the M Sport Pro package, you first have to get the M Sport package. And then moving down, you start to get into the individual options. So universal remote control is an individual option. That's a garage door opener. Upgraded wheels are different options. And then each category will have different options between the models. 
But as we go farther down, you just get more individual options. So you can see Red Sport brakes are an extra add-on on top of the M Sport Pro package or on the M50 and blue will be the standard. Individual shadow line headlights, lumbar support, and it lets you know like any restrictions down below, like whether it includes that small X, like lumbar support will also add four is eight Z, but you might not know this, but that means like lumbar support gets removed on the passenger seat. So you gotta always read out for these codes, watch out for 490. 490, like down below that, that's the side width adjustment, right? Uh, adjustable rear side bolsters are only available with like certain colors on the leather and stuff. So you just gotta watch out for these little implications on what can be ordered with what and what can't be ordered with what. Moving down to the next page, you know, you have ventilated seats as an option, M seat belts only on the M50i. Rear heated seats require Vernasca leather and can be ordered on either one. Uh, you get different trim options if you want to pay extra on the interior trim. Carbon fiber trim is only available on the M50. Even though you laser light headlights if you want to add those on are just a completely individual option. Wireless charging tray, M carbon fiber exterior package is pretty a fantastic option. Uh, $2,900 only on the M50i. Add that in there. It's such a beast car. Uh, high gloss black kidney grills, $350. Aluminum fabric trim on the inside. And then if you want to do exterior black sense in BMW i Blue at a no charge option, you can do that. Only on the 40i though. Now we're going to get down to the list of standard features. A couple new things like extra boost only available for the electric cars. And then, you know, whether the sport brakes are standard and basically you'll find out the E40 is a lot slimmed down compared to the M50. You'll find a lot more standard features on the M50, but yeah, it's just going to run through all the standard features you're going to get no matter what package you get on. So on the next page at the very bottom, you see blind spot warning, not standard on the 40E because you have to get driver's assistant in that essential package in order just to get the safety systems like blind spot monitoring. Now moving into the next slide, just going to show you the wheel options and you know what the options were if they're no charge, if it costs money, if they're required ordering another package, and you get to see all the different wheel options that are available for both the 40 or the E40 and the M50. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed the content. You found it very useful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more BMW content. Like this video as it does help me with BMW's algorithm. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.